What's up everybody, Dr. Ray, and we are going to talk about saving in Adobe Illustrator. So you've created this beautiful masterpiece in Illustrator and you wanna know how to save it. All right, I've created this masterpiece of a blank page. No image on it, but we're still gonna save it, right? Because it's important. So the first, because the first thing you do when you create something is you can save it right away, even when it's blank. So it continuously, you're continuously saving somewhere so you know what you're doing. All right, so we're gonna go to File, Save As, and we're gonna give it some kind of name. Now, the first thing you see here is it says save to Creative Cloud or on your computer. Now, I prefer to save it on my computer because I don't use the Creative Cloud, uh, you know, the cloud feature of it. I use Dropbox, I've got OneDrive, I've got like 10 other things. I don't need to do that. I'm gonna click on my computer. If you wanna save it to your Creative Cloud, you can do that, you would just do it right there. Since I clicked on, so you just keep going back and forth between Creative Cloud or your computer. You're gonna give it a name, you're gonna save it wherever you want to, and that's it. You can see that it's an AI file. AI file is an illustrator editable. That's the development file. So you wouldn't send an AI file to another person. Um, you save the AI file for yourself so you can go back in and edit it. If you were going to send it to someone else, I'd probably send them a PDF so they get a, the PDF version. You also see EPS here. EPS is an old old version that I used to send to people like when I would work with a company and I'm sending them like a t-shirt in logo or something, I'd send them EPS. Nowadays, I send people PDFs. We don't really use EPS anymore. Uh, someone might, if they have an older version of Illustrator from like 2016 earlier, you might have to send them an EPS, but all latest versions from like 2019 on, all PDF. All right, so you choose your file type and you click save. That's it, super easy, right? But there is more to it than that. It's not just, oh, I'm gonna to go to file, save as, and save my Illustrator file, because I may wanna save like a JPEG or something like that. So if I wanna do that, and I do hate how Adobe like can't make it just easy, like have the JPEG right here where everything else was, but they choose not to. So what I need to do is actually need to go to file, export. I can save for web legacy or export as. We're just gonna pick export as in this example, and look at all the different kinds of files we have now. We can even save it as a Photoshop file. TIFF, we're not using those kind of files anymore, TIFF files. We'd save it as a JPEG most likely if we wanted a JPEG for some reason. Like if I was bringing it into Photoshop, I would save it as a JPEG or a Photoshop file or PNG. Um, and I guess if I wanted it on the web, I, I could do that as well. Save it for one of those file types depending on what I was doing it for. Um, but you can see that's how you get all the other options. You would just simply click export and you have it. So file, save as, allows you to save your Illustrator file, PDF or EPS. Export, sa export as, allows you to save it as all the other different file types like JPEG, PNG and stuff. If you click save for web legacy, that's just an old way to save as a PNG or uh, JPEG, you don't really need to do that for any reason anymore. Um, they just still keep it here because some people got used to it and like to use it. It used to be just be called save for web, web instead of export as, that's all. Um, but that's it, that's how you save for Adobe Illustrator. All right, y'all, later.